Brothers and sisters, I would like to wish all of you a very holy and blessed Christmas. We are all here to celebrate Christmas, to celebrate the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's turn around, left to right, in front of behind you, wish one another a very holy and blessed Christmas. Holy Christmas, holy Christmas. blessed Christmas. <laughs> With a big smile in your face. Uh, this is the most holy night of all the nights. Why? Because we celebrate the birthday of our Savior Jesus Christ. You have just heard from the first reading from Prophet Isaiah. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. On those who live in land of deep shadow, a light has shone. Just imagine those who live in darkness, they walk in darkness, now they have seen the great light, and the light shine upon them, they are no more in darkness. In the response of some, the response to God's word is this, today is a Savior has been born to us, He is Christ the Lord. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord, bless His name. <laughs> so today, the whole world is rejoicing because the Savior has been born to us. The gospel is a fulfillment of today's first reading from Prophet Isaiah. When Christ was born in the stable of Bethlehem, the angel announced to the shepherds. They were all there looking after the sheep in the field. The angel announced to them, and that announcement made them so shocked. And they were so surprised. They were so frightened because the angel looked so bright, so brilliant. Listen once more. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them. That's why the glory of the Lord was so bright, so brilliant, they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I'm sure most of it will be frightened. And all of a sudden, an angel appeared, so glorious, so bright, the glory of God shone upon them. That's why they were so terrified. So the angel told them, listen, I bring you news of great joy. A joy to be shared by the whole people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Where was Christ born? In the stable of Bethlehem. A place for animals. Let us ask ourselves, why Jesus has to be born in such a condition? No human being is born in the shade of an animal. This is a manifestation of God's love, God's infinite love for all of us. Awesome. The world has become so poor. People in this world have become so high. They want to be higher and higher than other people. The rich become richer and richer, but they never take a single cent with them when they die. So God wants to reverse all this you know, by becoming a baby, so lowly, so humble, in coal. So today, brothers and sisters, you must learn from baby Jesus, who is our Lord and God. But he became so helpless, he's living in coal, <laughs> living in poverty, and he's living, you no know, other than shivering with Mother Mary beside him. This is the way of the Lord. He humbled himself. He became so lonely. He became so poor and so helpless. Just and they all came to adore the baby Jesus. What do you see there? A baby, helpless, couldn't do anything. Had to be fed by his mother Mary. Had to be clothed by mother Mary had to be washed and cleaned by Mother Mary. He couldn't do anything. Total dependence on Mother Mary. Mother Mary wants to feed him, want to clothe him, want to bathe him. So he allowed himself to be done, everything to be done by Mother Mary. Total dependence on Mother Mary. 
So here we must learn, brothers and sisters. You all, if you want to go to heaven, no one can go to heaven except through Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And all those who want to go to heaven, you have to become like baby Jesus. You have to lower yourself. God lowered himself. He humbled himself. So we must follow the way of the Lord, the way of littleness, the way of becoming humbler and humbler. We must become a child of Mary. There's a year in Naju, Mother Mary repeatedly gave us her milk. The same milk she gave to baby Jesus. So that we will grow faster spiritually. God has chosen the little soul whose life has been prepared by Mother Mary, by Jesus. So Mother Mary wants us to become like the little soul, being nurtured by her, being brought up by her. All right, because she is visible, and I God want to use her. And she already, the Lord already sanctify her. It's already already make her pure and clean by putting her in the brazier of burning charcoal. She went up to heaven so many times. April the 18th, you know it by heart already, 2014 on Good Friday. At the third station, she collapsed and she died. She stopped breathing. No more more her soul went up to heaven. God was so pleased with her, took her hand and showed her round heaven. You want to go to heaven? Are you ready to go through furnace of burning charcoal? We have a secret weapon uh, how to reach holiness and perfection. That's a Mother Mary want us to become like a little soul. Yeah. So we have to follow in the footsteps uh, because she follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ and Mother Mary. The world is so full of poor. Yeah. They put the brain on one another. Uh -huh. They don't have humility to say it's my fault. So here we learn from the five spirituality how to become a humble little soul. And God the Father revealed to her that you are the most, uh, the subject of mine, most trusted and most valuable. That's how God the Father sent her back again to nurture us, to lead us, and to guide us. And before sending her back, God the Father revealed to us, you bear resemblance of Mary, who you call mommy. She gave for the past few weeks already, she suffered so extremely, even lost her voice. She could not walk, could not even sit properly. Why? She had to suffer so much. She already went out to heaven a few times, because we are not ready. We have not become little babies of Mother Mary. There's a second reading remind us how to go to heaven. What we have to do is to give up everything that does not lead to God and all our worldly ambitions, how we desire for worldly things. We must be self-restrained and live good and religious life here in this present world. So that is what Mother Mary wants us to do, what Jesus Christ wants us to do, and not to be too ambitious of worldly things that becomes an obstacle to us to be purified, to become humble little soul. You still remember during the 37th anniversary, the first, we've been tears of blood. We are celebrating here, and the little soul received the message from Mother Mary on that day. And this message is very important for all of us, because Mother Mary won all of us to realize that she is with us all the time, that Jesus Christ is with us all the time. And Jesus and Mother Mary want us to exercise, to participate in spirituality. So so listen very carefully. My son Jesus and I will always be with you anytime and anywhere through our invisible presence as you practice the five spiritualities and make it known in unity with my little soul. So Jesus and Mother Mary are with us all the time. Mother Mary, 
keep on feeding us with the meal, the same meal that she gave to baby Jesus. Mother Mary wants us to be united with the little soul. Now, this is very important message for all of us. Establish collective praise community. Turn your daily lives into prayer by staying awake always and practice the five spiritualities. Some of them, they already have different groups, the collective prayer group, you know, in, in John, you have a beautiful center there, and in Seoul, you have a new center there. So you must come together and pray together. No more time to hesitate, no more time to procrastinate, oh. so that the leaders of Nina to serve us our mind. Two days, he lost her voice, he could not talk. She has to communicate with me by writing. <laughs> Just now I went to anoint her while you were here adoring the baby Jesus. So how to help her? By arming ourselves all the time with the five spirituality. When there is a difficulty, whenever there is a problem, we turn that into prayer. And this way we are united with the little soul. Then we will lessen her pain and suffering. So do you want to help her? Yes. Amen. So brothers and sisters, let us stay awake. Learn from baby Jesus. You want to go to heaven Hello. straight away? Then become Mama Mary's little tiny baby. Cling to Mother Mary. Don't let go. Cling to her. Just like a baby, a baby cling to you, cling to you, your mommy. Yep. Because Mother Mary is a shortcut to Jesus. So from now onwards, we all become Mama Mary's babies, baby boys and baby girls. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Come, Samita.